Did you know that the Earth is over 4.6 billion years old? That's a really long time, so long that it's hard for us to imagine. But scientists have found a way to organize all of that history into different time periods. This is called the geological time scale. They do this by looking at rocks and the fossils they contain. Imagine you're an archaeologist, and you've just discovered a new layer of rock. The rock has different layers, just like a cake. The bottom layer is the oldest, and the top layer is the youngest. Each layer tells a different story about the Earth's history. Another tool is to study fossils. Fossils are like clues that help us figure out what the Earth was like in the past. For example, if we find a fossil of a trilobite, an extinct marine arthropod, in a rock layer, we know that layer is very old. And if we find a fossil of a human in a rock layer, we know that layer is much younger. By comparing the different layers and the fossils they contain, scientists can organize the rock layers into different time periods. We can also use other methods, like radiometric dating, to understand the exact age of rocks and fossils. By measuring the amount of certain elements in a rock, scientists can determine how long ago the rock was formed. One real-world example of how analyses of rock formations and the fossils they contain are used to establish relative ages of major events in Earth's history is the study of the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is a natural formation in Arizona, USA, that has layers of rock that are millions of years old. In the bottom layers of the Grand Canyon, geologists find fossils of ancient marine animals, like trilobites, brachiopods, and coral reefs, showing that the area was once covered by a shallow sea. As they move up the layers, they find fossils of terrestrial or land animals like dinosaurs, showing that the area was once a dry land. By putting all of this information together, scientists can construct a scientific explanation of Earth's history. They can figure out when different events happened, like when the mountains were formed, when the oceans were created, when different living organisms evolved, or when extinct. It's like solving a mystery, and the best part is, scientists are still discovering new pieces to add to the puzzle all the time. 